clutch shots and keep them at bay because they keep coming and keep coming and keep coming. Yeah, the Cats uh, have uh, second-half numbers like Georgia did at Ole Miss. They're 7 of 10 here in the second half, 70% through the first eight minutes and change. Cats have the ball down three, 45-42. There's a steal, Kyer, one-on-one, race to the rim. Stuff good with the left hand, Justin Kyer. Well, he's become a real thief here, and that's his third steal. Seven points in all in the second half for Kyer, who was 0 for 6 in the first half. Kyer, by the way, Whoa, leads the SEC goodness. in steals. There was a, a foul on Kentucky. That, I saw a collision there as well. But there were no whistle. Cats with the ball. They play through the possession. Six to shoot. Big Sar back to the basket, dumps it down underneath. Fagan fouls Toppin as he goes up, kind of grabs him by the shoulders, and Toppin falls to the floor. And that's a foul on Fagan. That's an easy call right there. Number one on Ty Fagan, the junior from Logtown, Georgia. And they're going to review this one. Well, it's under review. He indicated the, the, the indication when it wasn't a flop. But he, just see the way he just see the way he went. He gave the at the scores table. He came over like we're going to review that. But I don't think that's what it is. It's got to be to see if it was flagrant. Yeah, it looked to me like I mean, Ty kind of grabbed him around the shoulders and just kept him from going up. Is what yeah. it looked like. I, yeah, and, and Toppin came crashing down on the floor. So they're going. I mean, they and they called the foul on Fagan, which I believe was the right call. As we look at oh, the replay on the, the right video call. board. And the officials are reviewing it down to the far right. They, they end. need to come up with a better call, way to indicate a flop than than to do this because that's something you do with your hands a lot. <laughs> yeah, just throw them out there, palms up. Well, the official is explaining it to the official score. Everybody's trying to listen in down there, but of course we're way down on the baseline on the left end. And can't hear any of that. Did you know that right now Geico is offering an extra 15% credit on car, motorcycle, and RV policies? That's on top of what Geico could already save you. So what are you waiting for? Visit geico.com to learn more. It's 47-42. Georgia leads Kentucky by five. And the Bulldogs have played in front for the majority of this ballgame. Their large lead was nine points in the first half. Kentucky's big lead of the game has been three. Well, they've called it flagrant. Well, it was intentional. I don't know how flagrant it was, but it's like at the end of the game when you're, you know everybody yeah, well, in the building you, knows you're going to foul. Those are intentional too, but they never call them like that. So Toppin's going to get two free throws here for the flagrant one, I guess, was the announcement. Yes, I think that's what it was. Top and free throw, up and in. Good. And then they'll get the ball. Jacob Toppin, 6'9", not 200 pounds, from Brooklyn, New York. He's long and lean, 75% from the line this season. It's a pair here. All of his points now, all four of them from the foul line tonight. He makes it a three-point game, and then he heads to the bench, 47-45. 44, excuse me, 47-44, Georgia. And now Kentucky will inbound the basketball. 11.08 to go in the game. Cats inbound it to Olivier Saar. He spins into a double team, shoots over the defenders. Garcia on the block, rolls off the rim, rebound to the dogs. Georgia quickly into the front court. We've got Starks and Kyer, Fagan, Garcia, and Kamara are five on the floor. Kyer. Crossover dribble, now left-hand drive down the left side of the lane, throws it too hard off the glass. Rebound, Kentucky. Saar clears it. He's mopping up on the glass tonight. Double figures rebounds for the big seven-footer. Here's Boston down the lane. Sweeping windmill lay-in won't go. Follow dunk won't go. Saar's putback won't go. Another offensive rebound. Wow. And there's Brooks with the putback and a lay-in. That, that's just absolutely, that's the advantage of size underneath. 
One-point lead for the Dogs, 47-46. Keon Brooks with all seven of his points here in the half. Just too much size with Kentucky underneath there. Starks dribbles at the hash mark on the near side of the floor. They set a screen top of the key. Starks dribbles behind it. Now to Fagan. Sweeping bounce pass to Garcia. He scores in front of Big Sar. Lay in. Oh, technical foul. They call a technical on Garcia. For what? Owen Short called the technical. Oh, I guess I, I Garcia said something to him. That's what they're calling. Gar- Garcia, okay. He, he fouled Garcia. Garcia said something to the Kentucky player, the Kentucky defender who was on the floor, and they called a technical. Garcia, after he made the shot, now Tom Crean is calling over the official to get an explanation. Uh, and t- uh, Coach Crane, I think, understands that that was, that that was the call. So that's going to put uh, Kentucky at the foul line for technical foul shots. And Dante Allen going to shoot them. First one is good. Three points for the Wildcats. Here in the second half, this will be the fourth free point. Well, it won't. He missed the second one. Allen made one, missed one. So they got two freebies on a flagrant foul call against Ty Fagan. And now on the technical foul call against Andrew Garcia, they go one of two, and Andrew will exit the ball game for the Dogs with Georgia's lead at 2, 49-47. 9.59 to go. Garcia now with two fouls in the contest. He goes to the bench. Cats with the ball. Mintz picks up the dribble inside the arc, left side of the floor. Spacing not good. They've got four guys all right over in that same area. But the Cats are going to take it with Mintz and drive down the lane from the left angle and score on a layup. Davion Mintz with his first points of the second half. Wheeler's back in for the Dogs. Throws up a spinner. Misses the iron. Barely touches the glass, a rebound, scramble. Kentucky going to get it inside the foul line as we miss another layup. And that was one very makeable. We're tied at 49, by the way. Cats with a basketball and a chance to take the lead. Mintz has it poked away by K.D. Johnson, out of bounds on the near sideline. It will remain Kentucky basketball. Keon Brooks to inbound for Kentucky. Throws it along the half-court line to Mintz. Dribbles on the logo. Ten seconds to shoot. Brooks has got it. Fakes right, drives left against Kamara. Shoots over to Monty. Tried to draw contact. No good. Offensive rebound. Saar. They go back into the big man. He'll shoot it with one hand and roll it in off the glass and off the back of the rim. Saar now with a dozen rebounds to go with six points. And Kentucky leads by two, 51-49. Dogs ball. We attack with Wheeler. Runs right into the chest of Mintz. Pulls it back out. Comes near side to Horn. Picks up the dribble. Top of the key. Wheeler curls around behind him. Hand off from Wheeler. Bounce pass down low to Kyer. Running along the baseline. Out of his reach and out of bounds. We turn it over. Dogs with 10 turnovers to 15 for Kentucky. The Cats lead by two with 8.27 to go. 51-49 Wildcats. Garcia getting ready to check back into the ball game for the Dogs. Ball deflected by Johnson, but right to Kentucky. Now it rolls along the baseline. Brooks picked it up, tried to go up with it and score, and they whistle a foul on the Dogs. And that's on KD, a hack on the arm. That's four fouls on the freshman KD Johnson, and that'll put Keon Brooks at the free throw line for the Wildcats, the 6'7 sophomore forward from Fort Wayne, Indiana, two for two from the line this season. So very little work from the foul line for Brooks, who sinks his first one of the night. He's got eight points all in this half. And the Cats' lead is three, matching their largest lead of the game. 8-13 remaining, 52-49, Kentucky. Cats with their largest lead of the game now, 53-49 at four points. Dogs with Wheeler and Garcia. Kyer, Horn, and Kamara on the floor. Wheeler behind the back dribble into the lane. Has it knocked away. 
Turnover. Dogs. Askew picks it up on the bounce. Up ahead to Keon Brooks. Down the lane. Misses the lay-in. They whistle a foul on Georgia. That's on Garcia. Man. It's a one-sided whistle tonight. 7.56 to go in the game. 53-49. Kentucky leading Georgia back in a moment on the Bulldog Sports Network. Scana Energy is a proud partner of Georgia Athletics. For every three-pointer scored by the Bulldogs, Scana Energy will make a $25 donation to the University of Georgia General Scholarship Fund. Tonight, the Dogs have three Scana Energy three-pointers. That's 80 for the season and $2,000 from Scana Energy. 53-49 our score. Kentucky is taking a four-point lead, their largest of well, the contest. Scott, here in the last two minutes, we've had an intentional foul, a technical foul, and we've lost a ball on a turnover in the paint uh, and missed a layup. I mean, those, those boom, boom, boom. Those are all negatives. Those are all negatives. <laughs> and, uh, you know, your, your, your margin for error against Kentucky, just because they're Kentucky, you know, is, is slim. And, uh, you know, we, we got to straighten this out quickly. Look, we've been playing ahead of these guys all night. Let's see if we can't here. Just buckle down here, quit, quit the mistakes, make some layups, and see if we can't reclaim this lead. And for the, uh, the flagrant and the uh, technical that you pointed out, they got three of four free throws made. So three free points there as Keon Brooks is back at the line for Kentucky out of the timeout, knocking down another foul shot. And he's in double figures after going scoreless in the first half. He now has 10 points all in this half. Second free throw will bounce off the rim. No good. Battle for the rebound between Saar and Kamara. And the Dogs win the battle. 54-49. Cats on a 12-2 run. And their largest lead of the game at 5. 7-43 remaining. Dogs on the offensive end. Wheeler on the far side to Kyer between the circles. Now we hand it off to Horn. He dribbles at top of the key. Go to Garcia. We move the ball rapidly. Seven, Seven to shoot. Wheeler with the ball. Left-handed pass. Kyer. Open three. Left corner. Front of the rim. No good. Rebound in the corner to Askew for Kentucky. Kyer nicked the front of the rim. He shot it right in front of us. And when he shoots that, you just stare right into the lights. Not necessarily a great spot. Here's Boston. A soft two. Oh. Jumped out of the rim. Kissed off the glass and went back through. Just a short little mid-range jumper left of the lane. Boston now with 18 points, and the lead grows for Kentucky. And Georgia's drought continues. We go into Kamara. They push him. He misses the lay-in. Saar finally whistled for a foul. To second of the game, and that'll put Tumani on the line, stopping the clock with 6.56 to go. The Cats have opened up a seven-point lead. We haven't been to the line much tonight, but Tumani's been there once. Let's see if he can... Knock down another couple. 14 to 2 run for Kentucky right now. Kamara, five points tonight. That free throw too deep. No good. He's one for two tonight. And for the year, 59%. And it's worse than that in SEC play. The left hander from Belgium strokes home the second one. He made one, he missed one. 53% in conference games when the night began. All right, now Dog's got to come up with a stop. And and also that includes getting a rebound, not giving them second chance. 56-50, six-point Kentucky lead. They've got the ball. Mintz with a left-hand dribble, jump stop in the lane. Kicks it out to Boston, moves to his right, shoots in the circle. 17-footer, won't go. Long rebound, they got the bounce. Askew collects the rebound for Kentucky right in front of their bench on the far sideline. And that's what, when you get a stop, you you need to get that rebound. I mean, that's... Askew kills the dribble, passes left to Mintz, works against Kamara, feeds Brooks for a three, no good, dies off the back iron. Kentucky gets another offensive rebound. They keep it alive. Mintz with another chance, he'll slow it down. This gets back to what I'm talking about. Your margin for error is so, so slim. Nine on the shot clock. Cats lead by six, looking for more. Boston, open three, missed it. This time, Kamara, two-handed strong, goes up for the rebound. Wheeler's got it in the front court now for the Dogs. Pushes it inside to Garcia. He moves under the defense, throws it up, layup, misses it. Over the rim, 
And the rebound to the Cats. Another missed layup. It was contested, but Andrew should have made that one. Garcia point blank missed it. Cats lead by six. Five and a half minutes to go. Askew down on the baseline to Saar. The seven-footer leans back, shoots over Horn. Misses the 10-footer. Rebound to Kyer for the dogs. Justin down the middle of the floor, still attacking. Throws it up off the window, won't go. Tapped up, Kamara gets it. They try to tie up. They whistle a foul instead. Kentucky, Kentucky tried to tie him up, but instead Saar grabbed him and fouled him. That's the third on Olivier Saar, the Wake Forest transfer. Kamara will go out of the ball game now, as will Justin Kyer, KD Johnson, and Fagan back in for the dogs. It's not a shooting situation after the foul by Oh, no, that's Saar. only their fifth. We're, we're, we're at seven. They've, they've got five. Johnson, no, now Wheeler will inbound. KD was lined up there to throw it in. Now it's Savir. Left of the basket, feeds it into Garcia. Over the shoulder catch by Andrew. And check a whistle on the far side of the floor. Got a foul on Davion Mintz on Kentucky. Still not shooting. That's the sixth team foul on the Cats. So the Dogs will be in the bonus on the next one. Georgia's already committed seven fouls. Wheeler. Forced out into a double team near midcourt. Gets the ball over to Horn, far side of the floor. P.J. picks up the ball, throws a pass to Wheeler. He had trouble handing it. It was behind his back. Now Wheeler dribbles it, curls around under the basket, finds Garcia wide open, bounces him a thread-the-needle pass on the left block, and Andrew scores on a layup. The Kentucky defense went with a little fellow around in the he circle, and it left Andrew all like alone. in a whirlpool. Yeah. He just ran around in circles. And literally, the Kentucky defense was running in circles trying to keep up with it. And Garcia was just waiting for the basketball down low, and Wheeler got it to him. A terrific assist by the little fella, and it's 56-52. Cats by four. Six seconds on the shot clock. Mintz drives against Fagan under the basket. Threw it's it out of bounds away. in the far corner. Tried to go to Askew late in the clock and wasted the possession. Threw it out of bounds. John Calipari not happy with Askew. He's going to get Boston in the ball game. Now, who's coming out? They're going to bring out Mintz, I believe. Keep Askew on the floor. 4.22 remaining. 56-52. Kentucky leads Georgia by four. They won 14 straight in the series. Dogs trying to end that skid tonight. KD Johnson with four fouls. Going to drive against Isaiah Jackson. Throws up an air ball. Garcia got the rebound. His shot is blocked on the putback attempt. Here's Askew off and running for Kentucky. That's no good. Jackson on the offside will touch it back up and in uncontested. Well, they had the numbers going down the floor, and when he missed, nobody there for Georgia, and it was an easy cleanup. 58-52, six-point lead. Wheeler down the lane, spins it in, barely off the glass and the rim. Good. Layup for the Dogs. It's a four-point game again, 58-54. Severe now with 10 points in the ball game. 336, 335 to go here at Stegman. Brooks has the ball in the lane. Pivots all the way around. Horn wouldn't let him shoot. Pass it back out on the perimeter. Now they go back into Keon Brooks. Jab step. He'll shoot the three and miss it. Rebound tipped, controlled by the dogs. Wheeler's got it. Far sideline to KD Johnson. Askew fouls him and blocks him. And, and both players a, end up on their backs under the basket. One and, one and one. Now they have to unpile <laughs> unpile everybody, and we go into a timeout, and KD Johnson will be at the foul line when we come back. 58-54, Cats lead Georgia by four with a mere 317 to play. Don't go anywhere. Come on back after this on the Bulldogs Sports Network. <laughs> Hey, Bulldog fans, Rocket Mortgage is a proud mortgage partner of Georgia Athletics. If you want the competitive advantage to score a new home, Rocket can. 58-54, Kentucky leads Georgia, 317 remaining uh, in the uh, ball game. Uh, neither team shooting the Scana Energy 3 very well tonight. Georgia just 3 of 13 on threes. Kentucky just 1 of 13. Free throws, 11 of 15 for the Cats, 5 of 7 
for the dogs. And speaking of free throws, we'll have the freshman KD Johnson out of Southwest DeKalb High School in DeKalb County in the Atlanta area at the line. He's got four fouls tonight, and he scored five points in the ball game. Yeah, he's having to play carefully, and that's why that that call of blocking, you know, those are always, you know, bang bang calls. But uh, the officials got that one right. One of the few tonight, but they got that one right. <laughs> one, one and one. I like the way you sneak that in. And uh, Johnson will roll it in off the front of the rim, and it got the bounce off the glass and went through. So he'll get the bonus try. 58-55 now. The lead is three for Kentucky. And KD, same Boy. exact <laughs> thing. Front Bounced rim, it. backboard, and bottom. And it's a two-point lead for the Cats, 58-56. And the cardboard cutouts have come to their feet here at Stegman Coliseum <laughs> with 3.07 to go. Cats with a ball. Here's Boston, top of the key. Sends it to Allen on the right side. They dump it to Brooks, slashing through the lane. He turns and shoots over the defender, and they get a foul on the dogs. And that's going to be on P.J. Horn. Horn with his third. And it'll be shooting foul for Brooks and Kentucky. Two-shot foul, I believe. Was he in the act, or was it the one-and-one? One? looked like they called the foul for trying to set up position on the uh, Well, he, he kind of on the rebound. he took him out with his body. Out. So this is one-and-one. One. Uh, that's what yeah. Brooks is asking. He says, is it two shots or one-and-one? And that's what we're asking. So now they're saying two. Two of the officials were saying one-and-one, and, one, and the official that blew the whistle is said uh, two-shot foul. So that's what... Brooks wanted confirmation there. And that's the deal with the Kentucky right-hander as he puts it up and in. Keon Brooks, who played sparingly in the first half because he had two fouls, has been a big difference here in the second half. All 11 of his points here in the second half, and he's four for five from the line. 2.59 remaining, 59-56. Cats lead by three. Brooks will try to make it four, and he does. He drains a pair of free throws. He checks out. And the 6'10 freshman from Pontiac, Michigan, Isaiah Jackson, checks in for John Calipari's team. Dogs down four, less than three minutes to play. 60-56. to 56. Wheeler dribbles between the circles, guarded but not tightly by Mintz. The screen with Garcia. I got two guys on him. Wheeler drives left. Yeah, he took two defenders with him. Go to Johnson, right wing. Now to Fagan along the baseline. They push him. No whistle there. Gets it to Horn for a three off the back of the rim. Rebound on the weak side by Garcia. The dogs get another possession. Clocks at 14 after resetting to 20. Wheeler trying to direct some traffic. Going to dribble and drive. Scoop shot. No. Oh, it yeah. went in and came out. I mean, literally, Jeez. it was halfway below the rim and came out. How did that happen? Oh, my Cats with the ball. Oh, another just, missed layup. I mean, it just has haunted us all night. All right, we're going to change rims after this game. That one's being sent to the junk pile. Jackson, jumper in the lane for the Cats. Good, right in front of the basket. 62-56. All right, somebody needs to unload a three here. Wheeler works on the left side. One-handed pass to KD. That's his sweet spot. Here it comes. Good! Scan of energy three right on cue. Boy. 62-59. Woo. You ask and you shall receive. About a 24-footer dead away for KD. 62-59. Cats by three. 90 seconds to go. Kentucky with the ball. 13 on the shot clock. Boston. Overhead pass to Sari. Dribbles it down on the baseline. We double team him. He gets the ball to Askew. Left low block. Nowhere to go with it. Dogs with the they takeaway. Garcia. Ends up with a basketball, gives it to Wheeler. Dogs are down three. KD for the tie. No good. Deep three straight away is off the back rim. Long rebound out on the wing. is collected by Boston and Kentucky. Well, KD Johnson mad with himself, too. And Kentucky wants a timeout, so we'll take it with him. John Calipari calls a timeout with 61 seconds to go in the game. Kentucky 62, Georgia 59. Can the dogs break the streak? Come on back and find out after this timeout on the Bulldogs Sports Network.
Scott Howard, Chuck Daddle, Adam Gillespie back here in Athens. Zach Jules in our Piedmont Healthcare Network studios. We're going to come down to the wire here with 61 seconds to go. 62-59. Kentucky leads Georgia. This recap is brought to you by Regents. Get the Georgia Bulldogs Visa check card from Regents. Visit regents.com slash go dogs to order yours today. Kentucky's outscored Georgia by six here in the second half by shooting 56.5%. The dogs have shot 38% here in the half. We've got three in double figures led by Andrew Garcia with 14. Wheeler and Johnson each with 10. The Cats are led by uh, Brandon Boston's 18 points. And Isaiah Jackson has a dozen, as does Keon Brooks. All 12 of his points have come here in the second half. So it's a three-point game. Cats with the ball, and they have the lead. They'll run out of a stack across the top of the key as Brooks will inbound it. He shovels it in to Askew. 58 seconds, the clock ticks. 19 on the possession clock. Here's Askew working against Wheeler. Drives right of the lane to Boston. Back to Askew. Left-hand dribble goes the other way. Feeds it back to Brooks. Top of the key. Wants to take Kamara. Throws it back to Boston. He almost travels. Forces it up from his chest with the shot clock running out. Nowhere near. Dogs rebound. Dogs down three with 35 seconds to go. Get it into Garcia and score on a layup. It's a one-point game, 32 seconds to go. 62-61, Kentucky by one. About a four-point, a four-second differential. Cats with the ball. Askew moves to his right, and Wheeler fouls it. Ninth team foul for Severe, and it'll be a one-and-one one for Devin Askew, the 6'3 freshman guard from California, but he's 82% at the line this season. 23 and a half seconds left. And Kentucky's lead is one, 62 to 61. That foul on Severs, his first of the night. Askew waits for the basketball. Anthony Jordan will bounce it to him. And here we go. Clock stop, 23 and a half remaining. Shooting into the student section. He missed a foul shot, 82%. He missed it. Johnson's got the ball. KD curls around on the right wing. Hesitates. Still dribbling. Fires up the wing to Wheeler. 16 seconds. 13 seconds now. The clock jumps. 10 seconds to go. We're down one. Wheeler with the ball. Dogs want to take a chance to win the game. Wheeler drives. And his shot is blocked out of bounds with 3.6 seconds to go. Jackson blocked it. High in the air. The ball bounces off the floor and out of bounds over the baseline. Boy, It'll be the dog's ball with 3.6 to go. Th- those you, you talk about officials that swallow their whistles. They swallowed the whistle there because there is no that little guy was in there with three big guys putting bodies on him. They will not give him that call. 15 fouls called on the dogs tonight. 11 called on Kentucky. And the whistle hasn't been necessarily kind to the dogs, but you can't worry about that. With 3.6 seconds to go, you still have the possession. You can win with a basket, a two or a three. It's 62-61. Dogs trying to end a 14-game, eight-year losing streak to these guys. And they're within range. Cats came in 4-8 and eight overall, 3-2 and two in the league. Dogs trying to win back-to-back games in the conference. And, Scott, all you're asking for here is a good look from one of your good shooters. That's, that's what Tom Crane, he's trying to pick out one or two guys that he thinks can knock down a clutch shot here and make sure they get a good look. Kentucky and John Calipari, they're down there trying to figure out which two he's trying to think of and so they can make sure they don't get a good look. So, uh, Georgia used a full timeout here. So, are you saying you think they'll negate trying to attack the basket just because of Kentucky size and the lack of whistles blowing Listen, tonight? If they weren't going <laughs> to, if they weren't going to blow the whistle there, they're not going to ever blow the whistle. Hope it tastes good going down. Wheeler's going to inbound for the dogs. We've got Horn, Kyer, Johnson, and Garcia, okay. and now John Calipari yeah. will call a timeout to counter for Kentucky. So what Calipari's trying to do there is he wanted to see how Georgia was going to line up, and now he's going to go back and adjust his defense accordingly. Cats still have one timeout remaining. Georgia with two, but only 3.6 seconds remain in regulation. No, that's their last timeout. Excuse me. 
So the Cats have used their full allotment here in regulation. And the Dogs will take a seat on the bench, huddle up around head coach Tom Crean across the way and uh, try to come up with a winning play here on the final possession of this contest. Kentucky swept George in a home-and-home last year, won both games by 10 points. Not the case tonight, obviously, although the Cats have outscored the Dogs slightly here in the second half. Georgia had a 30-27 to lead at intermission, and the Cats have right, outscored what, what Georgia 35-31 here Scott, in the second half. Scott, what would half. you do? Uh, I would probably run a play on the perimeter and just try to get a jumper. And try to knock down Try to get a good look. It doesn't have to be a three. You know, it's just no, whatever you're yeah. comfortable with but it, and who you've got shooting. Uh, well, and, and who who do you want there? You've got your choices on the floor are probably going to be, my guess, are going to be uh, KD, right? You're probably going to have Severe out there. Uh, Kyer and, and Horn, yeah, that's who I'd have out there. I was, you've got you've got Tumani in case somebody misses, you can get a tap in. Wheeler to inbound. Boston to protect the basket on an angle, guarding the throw in. 3.6 seconds to go. Wheeler looks to the left, now has to call time. Uh Well, eventually we're going to all be out of timeouts. This is like the NBA. You know, in the NBA, the rule is in the final two minutes, everybody in the arena gets a timeout. (laughs) And that's kind of the way this is playing out. It'll be a 10-second timeout. This will be a 30. 62-61, 62-61, Kentucky with a one-point lead. Georgia has the ball, trying to inbound the basketball and run a play that will win them the game. They huddle up again, third consecutive timeout here, and the clock hasn't budged a millisecond. Boston has 18 for Kentucky tonight. Brooks and Jackson each with 12. The dog's leading scorer is Garcia, but he's not in the game for this last play. He's got 16 on 8 of 12 shooting. I see that was something you could consider if you throw an inbounds, an out-of-bounds play. You go into the basket area. Garcia was an option, but he's not on the floor here. It's it's Kyer and Johnson and Kamara and Horn with Wheeler to throw it in. They run out of the left side of the iron. Or of the lane. They bounce it in to Horn. He picks it up. Lays Lays it up and in. 1.3 seconds to go on the bounce pass. Horn has laid it up and in. Brooks for the win at the three. No good. The dogs have won it. Woo-hoo. Brooks tried a three on the other side of the half court line that was 10, 12 feet to the right of the basket. Didn't touch anything. Oh, my gosh. And John Bateman jumped and pulled something over here. He's in pain. He's, he's hopping out of the arena. Oh, my goodness. Dogs he wasn't with, even playing. Georgia won it. He's our AD in charge of basketball. He jumped so high, he hurt himself. Wheeler inbounded the play. How about to that? P.J. Horn, a short bounce pass under the basket near that semicircle. He had trouble with the inbounds, but picked it up and laid it up and in. Of all things, a layup, Chuck. Uh, has I mean, won the game for Georgia tonight, 63 and, to 62. You know, you and I were going for that something on the perimeter. That's what I was thinking. But no, they go inside with it, and PJ Horn, as you said, picked it, had trouble with it, but picked it up and laid it up and in. Well, I thought if they if they went for something inside like that, it would have been Garcia on the floor, but he was not in for the final play. It's PJ Horn that gets the winning basket. With 1.6 seconds on the clock, I think, is when it went in. And Kentucky, a futile last shot on this side of the half-court line. A wild, errant shot by uh, Keon Brooks that was nowhere near. And the Dogs have ended a eight-year, 14-game losing streak to Kentucky with a win here in Athens tonight, 63-62. Oh to 62. And all that, that is the third straight loss for the Cats. Third straight loss. I mean, this is a... Uh, you know, uncharted territory for the folks, for the folks up there in bluegrass country. Uh, Coach Tom Crean going down to scores table, giving everybody fist bumps. He's going to fist bump every cardboard cutout. Every cardboard cutout around the floor. <laughs> I, I'm just uh, absolutely un- unbelievable, Coach. Unbelievable. Georgia winner now nine and four on the year, two and four in the SEC. 
And that second win feels mighty good right now as the dogs knock off Kentucky by wow. one, 63-62. to 62. The and, Cats and while, four and nine on the year now and three and three and, in conference play. And, 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 Scott, let's point this out while we got a chance. I mean, look, while we're, we've won two in a row and we got another home game coming up Saturday afternoon against the Florida Gators, who, by the way, just knocked off Tennessee last night. That'll be Saturday at 2 o'clock here in this building. We'll be on the air with you at 135 to begin our uh, courtside countdown show for the Bulldogs and Florida. Let's enjoy this one tonight. Georgia beats Kentucky 63-62 to on a game-winning shot by P.J. Horn with the assist from Severe Wheeler. Out-of-bounds play that they score it with one and a half seconds to go. And they and, squeeze by the Wildcats by one. And, Scott, here I think this is a point that, that people need to understand, too. This wasn't a fluke. Georgia led throughout most of this game tonight. Uh, I mean, they, they had leads throughout the night. Georgia and, led uh, for 29 minutes and nine seconds. Yeah, so, I mean, th- this was not a fluke win for the Dogs. They had to crawl out of a hole late, but it's not a fluke win. Yeah, they come from... Uh, well, seven down in the second half and win it. But they had by led one. by nine in the first half. So don't forget, I mean, Georgia had the biggest lead in the game at nine. And like you say, they crawled out of a seven-point hole there in the second half and, and, uh, and got it done. Before we go to our post-game coverage, let's pause 10 seconds. Station identification on the Bulldogs Sports Network. Up next is our Regions Locker Room Report, brought to you by Regions, where you can get the Georgia Bulldogs Visa check card, and doesn't every Bulldog fan want one tonight? Uh, Visit regions.com slash go dogs to order yours today. Georgia, final score, Dogs 63, Kentucky 62. Post-game coverage straight ahead here on the Bulldogs Sports Network. 